the topic that I would like to share is about renewing your faith. Tell somebody, it's time to renew our faith. It's time to renew our faith. I do hope, while talking and discussing about the kind of faith that God wants us to exercise, we'll be going to see a lot of things will be going to come to pass. Miracles will be going to happen naturally. There will be a supernatural intervention, healing everywhere, casting out evil spirit won't be a problem anymore. Those supernatural things, if faith given by God is being used in the right spirit, right attitude, I believe there are many, many things we can do. We can do for God's glory in the kingdom. As Jesus Christ told his disciples when he commissioned them, to those who believe in my name, so it takes faith, not just believing in his name, but faith is very important. I'm not talking about mental ascent. Yeah. I'm not talking about suggestion. I'm not even talking about teaching or doctrine about Jesus here. I'm talking about the God-given faith here. Mm -hmm. To those who will believe in my name, they will cast out demons. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And on and on and on. Signs and wonder will, will follow. These days that we are experiencing right now, especially this pandemic, the world is suffering then to her knee because of this crisis. Unexpected, unpredicted, but it did happen anyway. And so many people are suffering. But did you know this is also the time that God is calling His own people? Amen. Amen. This is the time that God is also calling His own people. Amen. This season, for what purpose? To arise. Stand up, come on, and exercise the God-given faith. Amen. Don't quit, don't give up, okay, so so go. There are many, many things that is about to happen. That's why I keep on telling you, best thing is yet to come. Amen. We ain't see anything yet. We ain't see anything yet. God is about to reveal those things that was stored for us Amen. centuries and centuries, millennia, mm -hmm. thousands of years ago, Hallelujah. it is about to be poured out in our days. It's about to be poured out in this generation. I am recipient of that. You are a recipient of that. You see to it that you are a recipient. Of what God is about to do, especially these last days. I believe that we are about to see the greatest manifestation of the works of the Holy Spirit in our days. We are about to experience the greatest manifestations of the glory and of the presence of God in our days. It's about to happen. Hinug na ang mundo. The world is ready. Right. He know that. Prayer that have been offered from the past years and century, God will be going to answer them. Our forefathers in faith, many great leaders from the past, unheard by so many. But those very people, they opened a the prayer. And that prayer they offered is actually pinpointing our generation. 
that prayer they offer without them knowing it's a prayer that is actually reserved for us. And the culmination and the manifestation it will be on our generation. So I want you to understand this, huh? all of you who are here. That's why I keep on talking about the last generation. Yes. I'm the one who say that. It was Jesus who said that. There is a generation that he talks about that. They will be going to see these things coming to pass. He said that, not me. And he's been pointing some specific generation prior to his coming. It's about to happen, my friend. It is about to happen. And so, that's why I would like to invite each one of you, beginning today and tonight, to all of you who are here and to all of you who are listening, it's time to renew our faith. Because there are different kinds of faith that the church is using and experiencing right now. But iba kasi ang klaseng pananang palataya na hindi alam ng mga kristyano ang ginagamit nila ngayon. Ang gusto kong tukuyin natin ngayon ay yung a simple faith yet that can move mountain. A simple faith yet that, that can heal the sick. A simple faith yet that can cast out demons. A simple faith yet that can open heaven and pour out God's blessing. I'm not just talking about extravagant faith here. Yet. No. A faith size of the mustard seed is enough already. Take note of that. It doesn't mean to be, to have an, for you to have this kind of big faith. Just a tiny seed, my friend. That is all he required. Yeah, you believe. Yeah, your faith is pure. So simple, yet it's pure. So simple, yet it's genuine. So simple, yet it's true. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that is the kind of faith that God is looking for. Mm -hmm. Because some faith are hilaw. Ano ang English sa hilaw? Unright. <coughs> Some faith are hilaw. Mukhang hindi naiintindihan ang ripen. Hilaw. May mga pananampalatayang hilaw. May pananampalatayang stagnant. There are faith that are faith. Not faith, but faith. Amen? Ito yung mga nagkukunwari na niniwala. So beware of that. Sometimes you say amen and yet you are just pretending to believe. In reality, there is no faith at all in your heart. Don't even say, Amen, Amen. Doesn't mean that you believe. Some people, they say, Amen, but in their heart, they don't believe. Just for the sake of saying, Amen. Just for the sake of saying, Amen. For them to look like spiritual, religious, spiritual Christian, and so on. They say, Amen, and Amen, and Amen pretending that they believe, and yet in reality there is no faith in their heart. Please, in the counterfeit faith, no, it's not about the counterfeit faith. La Luna, hindi yung mga, pakinggan nito ha, hindi yung uh, bandal na pananampalataya. Maraming mga pananampalataya ngayon ng bandal. What is English in bandal? Bandalizing. <laughs> <coughs> I tried my best to keep speaking in English because uh, we have some visitors who are pastors in Canada right now. Bandal na pananampalataya. You can interpret that to your neighbor. Ito yung na bandal na pananampalataya. 
na aray na pananampalataya. Minsan naniwala, and yet it didn't happen, and so the next time, they didn't believe anymore. They have a lot of experience at one point in their life. They believe God, they believe the Word of God, and yet they're waiting for the fulfillment to happen, and yet it didn't happen at the time. And so what comes next is, they don't want to believe anymore. Yes, yes. That is the vandalizing faith. <laughs> <laughs> Nabandal ang pananampalatay. What is that? <coughs> yeah. No? Let me tell you, when Jesus Christ came, this is very important, okay? Please, did you know that when Jesus Christ came, He came the needs of the people and the only thing he required is belief. Yeah. That's why he didn't come to the Pharisee. Those uh, hypocrites pretending to be religious, pretending to know their God. Yet their heart is far from the Lord. And so Jesus Christ came to the berries, to the unknown, Amen. to the poor, and on and on. For what purpose? He's looking for someone to accept his work, to accept his offer. And the only requirement is what? Believe. Yes. Amen. This is all he wants you to do, just believe. This is all he wants us to do, just what? Believe. That's all. When people come to him, they beg for healing. Jesus Christ always asks them, do you believe? That's all. Lord, please help me. And Jesus Christ will always ask them, do you believe? That's all. He didn't ask, what's your religion? He didn't ask how many buildings you built for the church. He didn't ask how many tithes and offerings you gave. He didn't ask how righteous you are. How holy you are. No, he didn't ask that. Whether they are sinner or no sinner. Well, everybody's a sinner, of course. Mm, yeah. That is not important. What important is we believe. We believe. We believe. Say, tell somebody, I believe. I believe. So, 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 hey, look at me. From now on, we will be going to renew our faith. Yes. Hindi ito yung bandal na pananampalataya. Marami sa inyo na bandal. I'm not talking about that. It's time to what? Believe again. It's time to what? Renew your faith again. It's time to try again. When Jesus Christ asked the disciples, He was on the shore at that time. Did you catch a lot of fish in the Disciples from a distance, they said, No, Lord! We didn't have anything, Lord! And Jesus Christ said, Okay, throw the net again! And he listened out. Lord, what do you mean? All night long, we tried our best, repeatedly, many times, we throw our nets, yet, nothing. Not even a single fish, Lord. No catch. <coughs> we didn't catch anything. What are they implying? That's the word. Bandalizing. <coughs> Bandalizing. Some of you are probably experiencing the same. I tried again, I tried many times overnight, I did this, I did this, I keep on believing, I pray, I pray, I even fast, I go to church, a lot of ceremony, I did it, just to prove that I believe, that I will be going to catch a lot of fish, yet nothing happened. Come on, 
the pastor says it's time to renew your faith. Yeah. Believe again. So throw your net on the other side. Wow, I love that. Yeah. Because it's a God of a second chance. Amen. Yeah. Throw your net on the other side. This is what God is asking you in Goshen people. Come on. Not one of us here are unbelieving heart. Not the one, none of one, none of us here. You have that unbelieving heart. No way. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 I will throw you to the cliff. <laughs> you have to be sure. You have a believing heart. You must believe. Believe. That doesn't mean nothing happened yesterday. Today, nothing happened again. No. No. Something's about to happen. Amen. Yes. No. This is the right time. Pandemic is the right time. World crisis is the right time. This is the right time that God will be going to manifest in the midst of His people and their enemies. In the midst of crisis, God will bless us. In the midst of this trouble, God will bless us. Somebody say amen. amen. Yes. Unbelievable. But that is what faith is all about. God is a God of impossibility. He always proves himself beyond your belief. That's my God. So, Isha. Okay. I want to believe again. May God help me to renew my faith. How? How can I exercise my faith? How can I renew my faith? Please, listen, eh? listen, listen, listen. Don't sleep. Don't cry. It all sometimes started in a dream. It all sometimes started in a vision. Sometimes even in a slip of the tongue. That's why we must be careful and watchful of what is coming up in our tongue. Minsan slip of the tongue lang pero hindi mo alam salita na ng Diyos siya. Minsan slip of the tongue kaya na nauso yung matanghel tila ka na lang. But without you knowing it, it is not you who do the talking, it is the Holy Ghost showing you something for you to believe. Somebody say amen. Sometimes God will be going to show it on a dream. Some of you here, you have dreams, you have visions. And the next thing you will do is believe. Don't get discouraged. Don't get frustrated. Don't get disappointed. Those are over. Frustration, disappointment are over. God exactly knows that we all need His help. He knows that. Alam na Diyos na Hindi siya pabaya, hindi siya nagkukulang. Buhay siya is the God of Abraham, God of Jacob, and God of Isaac. Same God. Kapareho natin, Diyos yan. Diyos did nothing yan. Yeah. Somebody say it. Now, in Hebrew 11, 3, it says, Faith empowers us to see. Say, see. see. So, faith empowers us to see that the universe was created and beautifully coordinated by the power of God's Word. He spoke and the invisible realm gave birth to all that is seen. So, now in the In the Galog, dahil sa pananampalatay, alam natin ang sandibutan na ginawa ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kanyang ano? salita. Kaya nga mga bagay na nakikita natin ay galing sa mga hindi nakikita. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? 
magmumula ito sa hindi nakikita. Sometimes it all started in a dream, in a vision, sleep of the time. Without you knowing it, God is already showing your destiny, giving you something that all you have to do is to believe. Believe. Say believe. Come on, say believe. Say believe. Say believe. Say believe. Because faith empowers us to see. Yes. Faith empowers us to see. Ang ganda pa dito sa Tagalog, ang pananampalataya ay ang katiyakan na matatanggap natin ang mga bagay na inaasahan natin. Praise the Lord! Ang pananampalataya ay ang katiyakan. So ano yung katiyakan? Pananampalataya lang! Uy, kailangan magsipag ka, eh. kailangan magpakabanal ka. No, 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 pananampalataya ay katiyakan <coughs> na matanggap natin. Ano? Na ano? Matanggap natin ang mga bagay na ano? Inaasahan natin. At ito ang hayang pagiging ano? Sigurado sa mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita. Dahil sa pananampalataya ng mga ninuno natin, kinalugdan sila ng Diyos. That is Hebrew 11, 1 and 2. Kaya sabi sa verse 6, hindi makapagbibigay lugod sa Diyos ang taong walang pananampalataya. Dahil ang sino mang luwalakot sa Kanya, ay eh dapat maniwala may Diyos at nagbibigay siya ng ganitin pa sa amin. Sa mga taong ano, maharap sa Kanya. Naalala ninyo ang Mark 11, 24? Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Ano sabi ng Biblia? Believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Again, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. When you pray just now, or probably last night, or this morning, what did you see inside of you? Were you praying for someone sitting but seeing the person is in coffin? Panginoon, pagalingin mo siya, pero nakikita mo nakakabawa na siya. That is unbelief. Oh Lord, mahabag ka sa pinagpipray mong gabay, pero iba naman ang nasa isip ko. Baliktad. Were you praying for financial breakthrough but seeing the banks pursuing you till you were bankrupt? Nagpipray ka, Panginoon, bless mo ko, pero iba naman ang nasa isip mo. So, nasaan yung ano dyan? Believe. Nasaan yung ano dyan? Pray. My friend, you don't get what you pray for. You get what you believe. Can I say amen? amen? You don't get what you pray for. You get what you believe and you receive when you pray. Amen! amen. You don't get what you pray for. You get what you believe. You receive when you pray for. Jesus Christ said, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, Believe that you receive them and you will have them. And so you must what? Believe. When you pray for something, we pray, you pray for me and God is healed me. Amen. Don't just pray and then kesera sera. Oh. Don't just pray mahala na Diyos. No. No, no, no. That is not the kind of faith that God expects to you. When you pray, oh Lord, I, be, I, I, I put it on your hands. When you pray, Lord, mahala ka na. Lord, when I pray for this, but it's up to you, Lord. No, no, no. That is not what God expect to you, my friend, my friend, hallelujah. <laughs> expect you to what? To believe. For you to receive. Amen. <clears throat> Hindi yung pray na kayo ng pray. Tapos bahala na siya. Basta nag-pray lang, bahala na siya. Nasa kami niya. Hindi! Maniwala ka! You have to believe. Kung sabihan mo, may palata na kanya, may kabilyon ta na kanya, may kamilyon ta na kanya, may kabalit ta na kanini. Mayayaman ako kayo kayo. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Kaya sana 
stand up your faith you. Stand up ninyo mga pananampalataya. I-renew ninyo. Hindi ito dormant faith. I'm not talking about dormant faith. I'm not talking about bandal na faith. I'm not even talking about stagnant faith and fake faith. No, it's not about that. God is stirring up the faith in you. He's renewing that faith right now. Please, will you please believe with me so that we can be saved? No doubt. No doubting Thomas, will you please believe with me? Yes. Come on, come on. Yes. Therefore I say unto you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them. And you will have them. I know some of you here are thinking of pizza. Some of you are thinking of burger. <laughs> Because I promise you to have pizza tonight. Please, set aside those pizza. I'm talking about God-given faith. For you to receive. For you to receive. For you to be blessed and glorify God. Glorify Him. So, I'm telling you, whatever things, it don't have any Jesus. Whatever things. Therefore I say to you, whatever. Say whatever. Whatever. Say whatever. Whatever. Whatever things you ask when you pray. Whatever things. My friend, it covers your every need. It covers your every need. Whatever. And believing that you receive them comes before having them. Believing is so important. That you what? Receive. Lord, I thank you. You healed me. Thank you, Lord. Salamat, Lord God. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for making me whole. Thank you for forgiving me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for providing my need. I remember Jesus once told the centurion, Go your way. And as you have believed, so that it be done to you. So the centurion servants will see the same hour. Nasa Matthew 8, 13. Yes. The centurion believed that he received his miracle even before he saw it in the natural. Hindi pa niya nakita ang milagro na niwala na siya. Hindi pa niya nakita. Kaya nga kayo, kayo dyan. Maniwala na kayo kahit hindi pa niya Imagine niya na niyo na naglalakad na kayo. Kaya ang ginagawa ko, naglalakad na ako. Ini-imagine ko yung mga bahay. Nakikita ka, dito may tatayo yan. Ganito naman nangyari dito sa Gosya. Ganun naman nangyari. Ito, matatayo dito. May matatayo dyan. May matatayo dyan. May matatayo dito. Eh, nangyari. Tingnan nyo. Lahat ng sinabi ko, dahil pinaniwalaan ko sa tulong at biyay ng Santo ng Espiritu, eh, nangyari. Now, we are moving to the next space. The last frontier. We're moving to the next level. Yes. Wow. On Friday, I will be there at the prime mountain. I will soon to be praying mountain. I'll be going to bring the architect and tell him exactly what I saw. Do this. Do this. You draw this. My friend, because I already believe. Who that I who receive them. Amen. That I, you and I, receive them. September will not be over. We are going to get that land. Prayer mountain. And the fragrance. Design here. It will all be us. And one long, long, 116 feet long. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 To those who have an eyes to see and ears to hear, amen. say amen. 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 So, when you pray, what do you really believe and see on the inside? When you pray, so, okay? When you pray, what do you really believe and see 
on the inside. That's important. Well, Pastor, well, I really can't see. So, don't pray. Unless you are ready mm -hmm. yeah. to believe and receive. You pray, but if you are not ready to believe and receive, don't pray. Mm -hmm. Change your vision on the inside first. Start seeing yourself with the answer. See yourself healed. See yourself living in the bigger house that you need. See yourself enjoying more than enough. When you can see it and believe it, then pray in faith and you will have whatever you ask for. And remember, this is what Joseph Prince says. It's so important for you to do that. May God bless you. Father, we thank you. Amen. This word will minister upon those people who are listening right now, still have their faith. Renew their faith of God right now in the name of Jesus. And we will make your praise glorious. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. Follow us on YouTube at JOVFWC TV. The purpose of this video is to spread the gospel around the world and to encourage, equip, change people's lives through the power of God's Word. Please share, like, and subscribe to receive updates from our newest videos. God bless Maranatha.